together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the service needs an introduction, but um, I think we've got enough clues here to suggest uh, that we're here uh, for Harvest Sunday. And uh, so we pray. My dear friends in Christ, Harvest Thanksgiving calls us to look around this wonderful world of creation and to give God thanks for it all. In doing so, we may also see where we have failed to do our best. So let's take a moment to confess our forgetfulness of the needs of the poor and to repent of the ways in which we waste the natural resources of the world. God has blessed us, but still God's children go hungry. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God has blessed us, but still the poor cry out for justice. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. God has blessed us, but we still see in not in inequality and oppression in the earth. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who has left power to his church to absolve all sinners who believe in him and truly repent, pardon, forgive, and free you from all your offences, and by his great mercy and his authority committed to me. I absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us pray our colleagues for this harvest Sunday. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness, and you give us the fruits of the earth in their due season. Grant that we may use them for your glory, for the relief of those in need, and for our own well-being. As we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let's hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then he told them a parable, saying, There was a rich man whose land was very fertile and productive. And he began thinking to himself, what shall I do, since I have no place large enough in which to store my crops? Then he said, this is what I will do. I will tear down my storehouses and build larger ones, and I will store all my grain and my goods there. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have many good things stored up, enough for many years. Rest and relax, eat, drink, and be merry. Celebrate continually. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your soul is required of you. And now, who will own all these things you have prepared? And so it is for the one who continues to store up and hoard possessions for himself, and is not rich in his relationship towards God. Jesus said to his disciples, For this reason I tell you, do not worry about your life as to what you will eat, or about your body as to what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow seed nor reap the crop. They have no storehouses or barn, and yet God feeds them. How much more valuable are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one hour to his life's span? So if you are not even able to do a very little thing such as this, why are you worried about the rest? Consider the lilies and the wildflowers, how they grow in the open field. They may not need a labor nor spin wool to make clothing. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon, in all his glory and splendor, dressed himself like one of these. But if this is how God clothes the grass which is in the field today and tomorrow thrown into the furnace, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? So as for you, do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink, nor have an anxious and unsettled mind. For all the pagan nations of the world greedily seek these things, and your heavenly Father already knows that you need them. But strive for and actively seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. 
And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So for a very special harvest celebration, we've got a very special harvest creed, which I'll share on our behalf now. By faith, we gaze up to the heavens and know within its vastness that this is your creation, planned and effective within eternity. By faith we pluck an ear of corn and know within its symmetry lies the chemistry of life and the potential of creation within our hands. By faith we listen to your voice and know that the whisper that we hear breathed the world into existence. Yet it listens to the prayer within our souls. And by faith we strive to do your will. And know that the door that we approach may lead us to shadows where our role is to become your light. And by faith we cling to your word and know the strength that we receive has its source within the love that is at the centre of all things. This we declare in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray for ourselves and our world. Creator God, for our daily bread and for all who work to bring your harvest home, we bring our thanks today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our ingratitude, we who have so much, it wastes what we have given you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those whose harvest is poor, whose crops have withered, where water is tainted and children starve. Help those who bring relief and bestow on us an unaccustomed generosity, that all might share from your garden and all might sing your praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, provider of all, we bring our thanks today and we bless each other that the beauty of this world and the love that created it might be expressed through our lives and be a blessing to others, both now and always. Amen. The harvest of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, faithfulness, gentleness, kindness, and self-control. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. gifts which we offer with gratitude from the produce of the earth. As you have made our land bear a rich harvest, make our hearts fruitful with your life and blood. From this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, the saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. We thank you above all for your Son, Jesus Christ. You sent him into this world because people have turned away from you and no longer love each other. He opened our eyes and our hearts to understand that we are brothers and sisters and that you are the Father of us all. He now brings us together to one table and asks us to do what he did. Father, we ask you to bless these gifts of bread and wine, and to make them holy. Change them for us into the body and the blood of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. On the night before he died, for us he had supper for the last time with his disciples. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this, in remembrance of me. In the 
the same way he took a cup of wine, he gave you thanks and handed the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It is shed for you and for all people, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. God our Father, we remember with joy that Jesus died to save us. In this holy sacrifice which he gave us as a gift to his church, we remember his passion, his death, and his resurrection. Father in heaven accepts us together with your beloved Son. He willingly died for us, but you raised him to life again. He now lives with you in glory, but he is also here on earth among us. And one day he will come in glory, and in his kingdom there will be no more suffering, no more tears, and no more sadness. And for this, we thank you, and we say, Glory to God in the highest. Father in heaven, you have called us to receive the body and the blood of Christ at this table, and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Through this sacred meal, give us strength to please you more and more, Lord our God. Remember Vivian, our bishop, and all who lead your church before you, especially those ordained in recent days. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. And bring us all at the last, together with Mary, the mother of God, St. Andrew, St. Swithin, and all the saints, to live with you and to be one with Christ in heaven. For through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So with confidence we too are able to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes in glory. The body of Christ broken for us. Let us pray. Lord of the harvest, with joy we have offered thanksgiving for your loving creation and have shared in the bread and the wine of the kingdom. By your grace, part within us a reverence for all that you give us and make us generous and wise stewards of the good things we enjoy. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God the Father, who holds the lilies of the field and feeds the bird of the air, Provide us with all we need for life in its fullness. Amen. May God the Son who fed the five thousand and turned water into wine feed us with his life and transform us in his love. Amen. And may the God the Holy Spirit who hovered over the waters of creation and formed the world from chaos form us in the likeness of Christ and renew the face of the earth. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Tend the earth, care for God's creation, and bring forth the fruits of righteousness, and go everywhere in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.